previously on Blue Damsel. Then I saw a fish that I wanted. Oh, no. Yep, this one. Spoiler alert, the fish did not survive. He did not make it as excited as I was. I put him in a quarantine tank, but he didn't survive past two days in quarantine. I'm really sad about it. It happens, unfortunately, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Yeah, yeah, put, put your magnifying glasses on. <laughs> I told you he's tiny. He's got like a, it almost looks like a sucker plunger thing. It's know. not, they're fins. They're just black fins, but oh. it, it almost looks like a round disc sucker plunger. And yeah. I thought it was cool looking because he almost looks like a spaceship. A little fish spaceship. Mm -hmm. Well, he made the trip. That's good. We're gonna go ahead and get him taken care of. What's up, Blue Reapers? It's your girl, Blue Damsel. Welcome to another video. I hadn't really planned on telling this story, but I figured it would be a good learning experience for everybody involved. And I guess I kind of owed you guys an explanation on what happened to the fish. When I saw the fish in the fish store, the fish was incorrectly labeled as an orange spot goby. So I did my research right there in the store as I do for every fish that I'm going to buy and every coral that I'm going to buy to make sure that I can provide a suitable home for them. And it came up as an easy to care for fish, which is exactly what I'm looking for. That feeds on frozen mysis and or brine shrimp, which is exactly what I feed in my tank. It didn't look exactly like it did in the picture. With any species, you're going to have variations in colors and depending on the sex. So I didn't really think anything of it. And I told the employee, I want that orange spot goby. He bagged it up for me. While he was bagging it up, I was asking him what it ate, if frozen mysis and things were good. He said, yeah, it was great. He may or may not. Yeah, and that's he's fine. He's been in here since- I've, I've been watching been here. Him. Yeah, he, he's definitely been eating something. He looks like he's being beat up a little bit by the flame and one of the clowns. Yeah, that's definitely a good one. I would, yeah. I would definitely buy it. Yeah. When I went to check out, the guy behind the register asked the employee what kind of fish I had. The employee told him it was a twin spot goby, and I remember correcting him and telling him, nope, it's an orange spot goby. You remember he pulled out the fish he showed it to me and the guy behind the register and said no it's got the two spots so it's definitely a twin spot i said okay no problem again didn't think anything of it a goby is a goby right wrong sir Wrong. Paid for the fish and was on my way. I was two and a half hours away from home, so I made the drive home. And when I got home, I googled the twin spot goby just again to verify, to make sure. And the first thing I saw was care level difficult. Of course, I freaked out. I already knew that difficult meant that it was a difficult eater. It said that I had to keep a populated refugium and all that, which I don't have and I'm not prepared to do at this time. But at that time, all I could do was take the fish out of the bag and put him into the quarantine tank that I had set up. I created a little sand bed for him and I attempted to put some food pellets in the sand bed and under the sand bed so that way while he was sifting the sand, he would hopefully pick up some of these pellets and get some nutrition that way. Of course, that didn't work. It seemed like every time he sifted the sand, it was away. It was like around the food pellets. That was Saturday. So Sunday came around. I did a 50% water change. I siphoned out the old food pellets. I put in some new fresh ones and hoped for the best. Monday after work, I noticed that he had gotten very weak and he made the turn for the worst. I was ready to flush him Monday night and this is why I counted him as dead in that last video. The best way I can describe it is he looked like a plastic bag just being blown around in the wind. He was being blown around in the little currents of the bubbles in the quarantine tank and I just I couldn't stand to see him like that and I just wanted to flush him put him out of his misery But the only thing that kept me from not flushing him was in the past I had a fish previously that I thought was dead I took him out of the tank dropped him in a bucket for three days and after three days when I was ready to flush out the bucket and clean out the bucket He was in there in literally less than one inch of water Completely alive like nothing had ever happened. So after that I decided never to give up on fish prematurely So I just turned off the light so I didn't have to see this fish just blowing around in the current and went to bed. In the morning I thought when I woke up the first thing I was gonna have to do was flush the fish down the tank before I went to work but as soon as I turned on the light he was hanging out just chilling in his sand bed
bed like nothing ever happened the night before. So that was Tuesday. Obviously, I had to go to work. But I already knew that after work, the first thing I was going to do was bag him up and take him to the local fish store so they can hopefully find him or give him a new and better home where he can eat. When I got off of work, it was pouring. It was storming outside. We were experiencing some outer storm bands from Hurricane Dorian. But I did not let that stop me. I bagged him up. This is the weather we're going out into, guys, just to save this fish's life. We weathered the storm and we head on over to our local fish store and I turned in the fish and received him with open fins and loves and hearts and all the things. And all I can hope for is that the fish survived, made it through, and will live a long, prosperous life. I did go back a few days afterwards to check and see if I could see the fish. I didn't see him. The guy that I had turned him into wasn't there, so I couldn't really ask. So I don't know if the fish was sold or if they had it maybe in the back somewhere in quarantine or if he was just hiding under a rock. But that's the story with the fish. It's no one's fault, really. I mean, in the future, if I do research a fish that obviously doesn't look exactly like the fish that I'm looking to get, I will definitely be seeking out a second opinion to make sure. But I appreciate you guys for popping in for not judging me. These things happen, unfortunately, in the hobby. I've got plenty of updates on the 20 gallon reef tank. So guys, make sure you stick around, make sure you hit those notification bells so you're notified whenever a new video drops. We are less than 200 subscribers away from reaching 1000 subscribers. Once I reach that 1000 subscriber milestone, I'll be able to live stream on this channel and I'm ready to live stream. Also, when we reach that 1000 milestone i'm pretty sure i'll be doing a subscriber thank you giveaway welcome to the new subscribers and i want to give a special shout out to reefer dave who dropped a comment in the last video thank you for being probably like the only person that actually answered my question in the video on what your favorite fish was but until next time guys remember to just keep swimming and i will see you in the next video four wheel signal goby man i like it's super hard to take Everybody. care of okay. Goby, like, awesome. I just like how they pair up together okay. and uh, clean the sand together. Mm -hmm. Hard, hard, hard to take care of, but that, that's definitely my favorite part. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do with swimming?